Hello, now is the control a step for the F4, MIG F4, okay? And the first part, you should make sure the connecting here on the software, this here connection schedule, the lights, keep it and then choose the right comp here and connect. When the connecting is okay, the right will turn green. And now I will tell you how to uh, know this menu here. And the first menu here, the quick setting. You can use the quick setting to set the outputs quickly. For example, the 2x2 two two or 4x1 or 1x4. Now it's 4x1, for example. Okay and 2 by 2 now okay and if you need to set every output one by one you should go into the menu output for example the dy1 and choose the resolution for it or just customize the res resolution and change it for example 1 from 1920 to 1080 and here the frequency you can choose 15 or 60 and apply apply to all or apply to one okay for example one and then okay the first one is okay and you, you can go into the second one the dy2 just the same way to set okay for example every one is set okay and you can have four output here right and you can change the position one by one just put it on the right position for example it's two by two here and it's okay and then go into the layer setting here and pull the layer and double key okay it's okay Get the wrong position here. Change okay, and then the ray setting. Oh, so it's okay now. And just now we, we tap the layer, we can have layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four, and here's the four layer to a mosaic. And you can also fully are independent. Okay, layer one, layer two here, layer three, and four. But just pay attention to this. You can uh, you can use just only one input at the same time. So at this time you uh, it's just like a splitter. Okay. And the next menu picture, you can change. Every layer is brightness, contrast, gamma, and the red, green, blue here. And the EDID, every input for the F4 is uh, a 4K by 2K 60 Hz. And um, for my computer, it only support the 30 Hz 4K by 2K. So if your computer is okay, just change the. Okay, here's the EDID. And the crop. Just the same as the processor, so it's quite simple. And the preset, if everything is setting okay, just uh, go into the preset here and choose the preset one and save and yes. Okay, it's the save okay. And then if you want to use it, the preset one, load and yes. Mm -hmm. And the next menu here is for the inputs and outputs. If they use the same frequency, and choose this one. If the input and output frequency is not the same, you choose this one. Uh, and the last menu here, here to change the language, and here to update this machine. 
and fetch will reset and get the data from the machine okay it's quite easy and the important part is here Wi-Fi configuration and you know that the this machine can control by the cell phone uh, app on the cell phone and you should set the machine's ip here and the wi-fi name here and the wi-fi password here and apply okay and the last part here input signal backup on and off on when you're on if the input now is missing and another one will back up for this if you close it and the function is missing okay okay next function is the backup function the backup function used for the input backup it means that when the input one missing and it, it will switch to input two without anyone to touch this machine and this software okay and next i'm going to show you when I disconnect the input one, okay, I plug out the cable, and it will switch to input two, HDMI two, okay, just like that, and uh, you will see the input two on the screen now. Okay, the next function is the branding function. It means that this F four can use for the projector, and what you need to control is that make sure your projector the cover area I means that the blending area uh, for our F4 the blending area no less than 256 so for example this two projector now the blending area is 300 okay here and it will cover like this this one on the DY1 output this one dy2 output and cover and this branding area is 300 and then we should set the data for the output 3 and 4 okay no need to use them and the first one and the second one it means that they will cover Cover for the 300 like this, and then see the blending dy1 blending selected and uh, H. Okay, H1 and the uh, branding position from the 1620 the branding area is 300 it means that okay here is the zero and from the position 1620 and if you have 300 area and here is the branding area like this and the direction is from right to left it means from the another port to itself and then we go to the second port H select it and for this output port from 0 and the area should be 300 like this and the direction from other port to itself left to right okay and this is the branding area setting set data and at last you can have this layer cover it and the final step is to change the gamma divide to change the gamma uh, we don't have the right number for you to choose but what you can do is to change the number and see the effects on the projector when it is okay and finish and if, if not okay you can change another one to try okay and this port and then to the dy1 port okay that's what uh, you need to do 
Hello, uh, I'm going to show you the function of the frame scene. Okay, this menu, and you will see you have two choices the frame scene mode and the cover mode. For this mode, it's used for the function, the input signal frequency and the output frequency is the same. So you will see uh, you use the sync mode when the input and output same frequency. And if you choose another signal, for example this one, okay, you see that the frequency not the same now, and it will tell you the signal is different frequency. At this moment, you can choose the cover mode. Okay, these two choices used for different situation and both of them is make sure that you output sync. Okay, that's all. Open the F4 software, let's enter the output channels and we will change the resolution for the all output. There Y1. Apply all means setting for the all output. Let's choose the apply one. DY2. DY3. DWI4 And then we will change the position for the output DWI1 DWI2 DVY3 DVY4 As you can see, the windmill screen output has been finished. In the next, let's go to the layer menus. Open the layer 1. You can change the size and position by the mouse and double click to make it full screen. Of course, you can enter the parameter to change the size and position. Here is the effect. That's all. Thank you.